hostel. You can be removed yourself from that hostel. You are telling people to leave your country. You come from an apartment. You come from a flat. You come from a house. You have no paper. When you return back home, after taking out Zimbabweans, the white man will be at the door showing you the way out of the rented flat, out of the rented house, out of the rented apartment. You have nothing to show. Yet you claim this is your country. You have nothing. You are defending a white man's property. This South Africa is owned by a white man. This South Africa is controlled by the white man. Don't tell me this is your country. When people are burning buildings, you are rushing, protecting them. Those are not your buildings. Those are white men's building. You have nothing. Stop hating on your future employers. These people are going to hire you. They are the most polite people. Even when they are educated, they still work for small jobs that pay nothing. They, are not, they don't have pride. They know that you have to work to serve and feed your families. That's why they are here. One day, like it almost happened in Cuba, when Obama wanted to lift the embargo against Cuba, one day it is going to happen. I pray to the ancestors of the revolution that it happens when I'm still alive, so that I can replay these videos and say, I want you about harassing your future employers. I want you about exploiting the people who are going to share their land with you because they've done it before. Why didn't Mugabe take the land immediately? He waited for you to get your freedom. Because had Mugabe take the land immediately, it would have caused a serious problem to a point where South Africa will not be liberated. They were a frontline state. They gave us a passage. They accommodated us. We stayed in their homes. They gave us food. They gave us shelter. They never called us names. Today it's our turn to say thank you. We become animals. It is not the spirit of Ubuntu what you are doing to these comrades. And look, Julius spoke, uh, had um, a lot to say three days in a row about Operation Tutola. Yes, oh, right? yes. Yeah. and he's waiting for a response. No? Listen, three days in a row, first in Parliament, bunch of criminals. Criminal, so, yes. if Parliament is not a joke, it's not a shabin. If you say people are criminals, best believe you must have your facts right and justify why you're saying those people are criminals. And then the next day, he's at a rally, three days in a row, Tutola. Guys, what's going on here? No, Lux, you must respond. Let me tell you, first time on this show, tell you why I'm not responding to Julius. Julius needs to be shown love. We are tired of black people always just hating on each other. Mm. If that means the younger person must be the older person in the situation, Ooh. let it be, it's fine. You know? They, so, so Julius, Julius experienced too much hate from the mm. systems, even from his own people. He's exp when he was expelled in the ANC, oh, yeah, he's yeah, yeah, been fighting yeah. for too long. Oh. So he thinks every situation must be a fight. When I see Julius, I'm going to give him a hug.